Well, this one's going to be about my polygamous father. Or should I call him God himself? Dad, I've lost all respect for you. I've caught you in so many lies. I know that you have abused me. I know that you have neglected me. I know that you would leave me out in the streets to die because I have a different belief, a different faith. I was really confused. It doesn't mean you have to disown me. I can't make you see my word. To say that it would have been better if I died. <sighs> this one's gonna be a tough one. It's really the only way you'll actually listen to me. Where I can do all of the talking and you have to listen. I don't think that's ever happened in a conversation between the two of us. As few as those are though, it's about time. You just love telling me everything that's wrong with me. You just always wanted to be this some sort of a god. You could never let yourself be open or share your emotions. You never even gave me a chance to build a true connection with you. But I think that's because you don't want that. You idolize your dad as a god, as in if he was perfect and could do no wrong, and you're trying to copy and paste and be just like him. It breaks my heart to hear the lies that you tell my siblings. The worst of all being that I left them, that I chose to leave them behind and to not live with them, when you and I know that that's a lie. The reason why I couldn't stay at home with them is because you wouldn't let me. You refuse to let anyone that doesn't have the same beliefs as you stay at home. Thank God I was at least an adult and could figure it out on my own. What would have happened if I expressed my feelings and my beliefs when I was 16 or even younger? You're just so quick to kick us out and to get us out of your way. If we're not perfectly aligned with what you want, we, it's like we mean nothing to you. You can't even try to see from our perspective. When I know that you had to have felt some of the same feelings that I feel deep down, you had to have questioned your faith. You had to have wondered if your dad was right. I'm sure that you've wanted to experience a different lifestyle. Why do you have to hate me for wanting to try a different lifestyle than yours? It doesn't mean you have to disown me and kick me to the streets. Pretend like I never existed. That's pretty messed up. I was 17, Dad. How can you have no sympathy? You think that we're just disposable? Like, come on. Charging your kids rent like they're not even worth providing a home for? How do you not see how heartless the decisions are that you're making? The way that you treat us. How do you not see how degrading those things are? Or if you do see them, why do you not care? There is one principle that I want to remind you of. Because I remember you saying this one many times but I don't think that you live it. Because actions truly do speak louder than words. Why is it so hard for you to give us the choice? Even if you were right, even if somehow your God was the one and true God, you can't drag us and force us to go to heaven. It has to be our choice. Let us choose what is right for us. Don't force us to live your right. I'm willing to set aside our differences. I'm willing to forgive and forget. I don't know why you have to be so stubborn. Why you always have to be right. Last time we spoke, you said that you still love me. But you still won't allow me around the kids. Or allow me to come home. I can't make you see my worth. I can't force you to see my value. I just don't know why it's so hard for you. be in their lives to let me come home you say that you love me but you don't 
Because if you truly loved me, you would let me be around the family. You would have let me stay at home despite our differences, despite our beliefs. But you don't care. You would kick me to the curb, leave me stranded on my own, left alone out in the world. How can you be so heartless, so quick to disown me? To say that it would have been better if I died than to believe something different than you? What is wrong with you? Do you not understand how much that hurts? Yeah, there's a lot of things that I could say. But I know that you'll never change. There's not anything that I can say that would make you treat me any differently. So what's the point?